What is up team? I am in a very cool, actually I'm in a very hot place right now. I am at the LA Glass Center and I'm here because Blown Away has literally blown up. It's awesome, it's like everywhere. And because of that, I've been doing like a lot of interviews. And in these interviews, people keep asking me, they're like, what's one thing that you wouldn't know by watching the series? And the answer to that question is that uh, when you're making anything with glass in a hot glass studio, the glass is really hot. It's like, it's so hot that it could catch stuff on fire hot, but you can't see it because it's not actually like red hot anymore. And so today, we're gonna be doing an experiment that shows that glass is still really hot, almost close to like 1500 degrees or more when you're actually working with it in a hot glass studio. I'm gonna be working with Joe and Cedric and we're gonna be doing this ridiculous experiment where we're gonna be popping popcorn inside of a hot glass vessel. Give us a rundown, bro. What What is up? This is your studio. Yes, it is. These are the furnaces. Each one of these holds about 750 pounds of molten glass. 750 yeah. pounds of molten glass. Each. Whoa, my God. That's like looking into the surface of the sun. Indeed. So this idles at 2,130 degrees. These stay on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Wow. Um, as a matter of fact, this one has been on for seven years without ever being shut down. <laughs> That so, is insane. Uh, these are the workhorses that provide a small glass when we need it. These reheat chambers that are known as the glory hole. I, that's a true, true statement again. Uh, and we use them at will all day long and then shut them off at night. So when so today's experiment is all about like showing that hot glass is actually really hot even when it doesn't look hot. Right. Um, about what temperature is the glass when you're working oh. with it? Oh. Well, I mean, we're pulling it out of the furnace at 2,100, so I don't know, malleable, anywhere from just below that to, you know, fairly rigid before we put it away is closer to 1,000. Wow. So I believe we'll be popping popcorn at 1250. So what's the, what's the first step? Um, get the blowpipe hot. <laughs> all right. Well, and gather some glass. All right, let's do that. All right, so let's get that blowpipe and then we'll put it in here. Heating her up. But we're gonna accelerate this process. Stick the pipe in the glory hole and get it, get the tip red hot. All right, my dude. Let's clean this pipe. How do you clean a pipe? Just take your tweezers. Here we go. Wow, Top. that was easy. That's a good gather. It's okay. It sticks a little hot. Now you do this so you don't burn yourself, right? This is basically just, this is the pipe cooler. And per correct. Right where the pipe changes color, it tends to get a little hot. Um, it looks like there's something swirling around in there a little bit, maybe. That's a good little bubble. Oh wow, that's a big chunk of glass. And then. Oh dang, that's a lot of glass. What kind of wood is that? So typically they use fruit wood. Oh. Because it absorbs a lot of water. This is the, this is the biggest secret glass one right there. Yeah, what, please? what is that in your hand? Newspaper. It's an actual newspaper? It is 12 sheets. What? Newspaper. Is it, does it have to be exactly 12? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> A little thicker. Yeah. Wow, you just made that thing come together so fast. And we'll do a drop on it. See, this is kind of what I was talking about, where it's like it doesn't look like it's hot anymore. Correct. But that's really freaking hot. Yeah. And we're about to prove that. Shields of it. We're actually going to transfer this uh, bowl and then Corey is going to finish it hot. <laughs> it's going to be so fun. <laughs> Sweet! How are you going to do it? 
Uh, I'm just gonna stick some tools in there and jam it open. <laughs> All right, yeah, jam it in there, bro. So check this out. This is called the punty rod. This is a solid rod. Okay. And that's now effectively called the punty. So the punty gets stuck to the bottom of the vessel, gently. Okay. This is the neckline. Okay. So Corey is going to make the neckline a little cold using some steel tools. Nice. And then don't blink. Oh, wow. You did that like so easily. Oh my gosh. Well, he set it up so good. What? I mean, it was like, bink, and then magic. That's we got so attached to this guy, and then it just, then it was just like peace, you know? Yeah, we don't need him anymore. It's like a, it's like a radiating dish. Yeah. Right? So that heat radiation, the wider this thing gets, is really, really hot on the glass blower's arm. So you can wear a Kevlar sleeve, or uh, Cedric's are also armed with wood paddles. Ground. This is the world's largest chalice <laughs> or a popcorn making bowl. We don't know. Oh my gosh. Watch. Put it into a nose cone. You feel good about that? Yeah, that'll hold I some popcorn. I feel great about that. <laughs> that'll definitely oh, hold Bro, some that is yeah. sick. Ready. Oh, it is popcorn time. So who knows how to actually do this? You I don't. Do. Oh, I do? I've never done it. I've never done it. You just pour it in there. What? <laughs> Cedric? Yeah, pour it time. <laughs> oh, no. How, how much do we put in there? Uh, I would say like maybe half a cup. Yeah, half. Half a cup. Oh, man, do oh, this. Oh, half the thing. Half oh, the half thing. the thing. Oh, yeah. oh my God. I mean, Let's that's YOLO. Let's do it. Quick, because it's going to burn your hand. All right, that's a lot. That's pretty good. We, more or less? That's good. That's good. All right, you guys cool with that? All right, so as we can see, the glass does not look like it is molten or high. It just looks like regular old glass. But we're thinking this is roughly, what, 1250-ish? That's really high. If it pops popcorn, then we shall know. It's legit. The rumors are true. Okay, so it's gotta be super hot in order to pop popcorn. Oh, dude. Oh, yes. Dude, it's hot. You're not even doing it's anything. Popping. It's, it's popping. popping. Yo, oh my God. It's getting crazy. You're just straight up popping right out of it, dude. You have a popcorn shooter. Dude, look at that thing go. That is insane. What? That must be so hot that it's literally just shooting popcorn out of this glass device. That is insane. <laughs> oh, dude, it's like, it's like maximum capacity popcornage now. <laughs> what? We're going. We're popping. It's turn, a. Corey, turn, 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 I'm turning. Turn. I'm turning. <laughs> Are your forearms just getting worn out? <laughs> I mean, dude, if, could you imagine if we only could make popcorn like this? Oh lord. Um, just to prove that nothing is actually in there. It's actually burning it in here because you have to rotate it, right? That's why you're rotating it. Yep. Oh, oh. the glass is breaking. Oh, and down the glass is now breaking. We're getting. Cold. Oh wow, the glass is getting too cold. So insane. Oh, dude, that's perfect. All right, yeah. Hey, let's just dump it in there. Let's just dump. That's a Yanush Paul guy. No, did he really? Yeah. That's a Yanush Paul. I'm honored. Okay, yo, we did it! Legit! It happened! We made the popcorn. I mean, you know. Oh, and a little bit of butter, nice! And a little bit of salt. <laughs> oh, how is it? Oh, yeah. Let's go. That's the good stuff. Is it legit? No. Oh. What? Dude, you just got rid of the epic popcorn machine of science? It would have exploded if we tried to reheat it. Okay, yeah. fair enough. <laughs> so what's happening down here? It's just like kind of... So if we were to just like set that out here at room temp, it would crack in a matter of minutes. And as you saw, it already started to crack a little bit. Oh, and this is going to crack it for sure. Boom. Better water. <laughs> That's insane! 
We just made art and then we just destroyed it. Oh, jeez. Are you okay? Wow. That's incredible. This one's light and fluffy. Oh, wow. I thought it was going to get really burned. That's really good popcorn. That's actually really delicious. Nice job, man. Okay, there we go. We popped popcorn inside of a glass container that looked like it was cold or cool, but really it was around 1200 degrees. Uh, totally insane because it popped popcorn and like shot the popcorn actually like into the room. So right now we're at the LA Glass Center. If you're anywhere close to Los Angeles, this is the place you wanna come to learn how to blow glass, get into glass. My girlfriend's friend is actually taking a class here right now and she's having a blast. It's totally rad. Um, there's a link in the description below to the LA Glass Center as well as all the social handles for the people involved today because they are glass blowers. They have really cool stuff on their channels on Instagram. Really cool like artwork. If you like art or if you like glass art, uh, definitely want to check them out. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you really soon.